Little Pastries in Seattle's Central District, you can worship at the altar of the Cruffin. Yes, the Cruffin. People often ask, what is a Cruffin? It's a croissant in a muffin shape. The cinnamon cream cheese Cruffin is just one of the many artful delights at Christina Wood's Bakery, as is the chocolate buckwheat cookie. This cookie is like a buckwheat shortbread, and it has a dark chocolate salted caramel ganache, and then toasted buckwheat groats on top. So it's like really creamy, crunchy, earthy, sweet. It just hits all the notes. Temple Pastries opened in October 2020, after a few years of successful pop-ups. But when the pandemic hit, it almost ruined Christina's dreams and her bank account. I had to close my wholesale business um, during COVID, so I had no source of income and like I was spending all my money trying to get this place open. That's where the GSBA comes in, the Greater Seattle Business Association. It's an LGBTQ and allied chamber of commerce. When the pandemic hit, they could see businesses were suffering. We have to do whatever we can to support these businesses around Washington State. That's why they created the Ready for Business Fund, a grant specifically for women-owned, LGBTQ-owned, and BIPOC-owned businesses in Seattle. Those are the most marginalized businesses that have been left out many times from accessing funding. Christina was one of the recipients of the first round of grants, and that money made all the difference for Temple Pastries, which is entirely women staffed. Especially in the culinary industry, it's super important to have women-led kitchens and women's voices heard. Thanks to that, Christina has her Temple of Pastries, and we have Cruffins. It feels amazing. Like This is something I've been working towards for like 10 years of my life. Um, it's just basically a dream come true. This is just better than I could have ever hoped for.